Mr. O'Mara here and I want to give you a few quick tips for how you can approach some of the NetPlan uh, literacy questions. So in this question, and this is an example of the test, this is obviously not the actual test, it says the poster encourages people to join Book Aid International by and it gives you four choices. So what you need to do is you go across to the magazine and you find the article that it refers to. These questions are not asking you to refer to your general knowledge. These things are made up, so it's not, um, you know, what do you know about the world, it's what can you get out of this text. So you must read through the text because they've been especially created for you to get the meaning out of. So it encourages you to join Book Aid International and it gives you a number of options. Is it by offering you a reward, by showing them how much fun books can be, by telling them they'll make friends or by showing them how they can make a difference to other people's lives. So treat this a bit like detective work, you know. The option one is offering them a reward for their hard work. So let's have a look at the article and it says for every four dollars you raise, every four dollars you raise will send one brand new book to a library in the sub-Saharan Africa. So that's not offering people help, like you're not getting anything if you help this. So that's probably not it. Number two, how much fun reading books can be. Again, there's no mention of fun here. Number three, telling them they'll make friends in other countries. And it does mention about asking family and friends to sponsor you, to give you money for every book that you've read, but what it doesn't do is say that you're going to make friends by doing this. So again, that's a false clue. This is not offering to help you make friends. But if you go back, showing they can make a difference to other people's lives. If you looked for the words, make a difference in other people's lives, you're simply not going to find them. But what you will find here is where books really can change lives. So that phrase, can change lives, is other words that give you the same meaning as make a difference to people's lives. So if you just look for actual words that match, you're probably going to fall for the trick and just go, oh yeah, friends is on the page, friends is back there in the question. It's not just about matching words, it's about matching meaning. So treat it like an uh, exercise in detection and problem solving and do that and just go through them one by one. Is this one true? Is this one true? And remember, you're not just looking for matching words. So you look out for words with similar meaning. That's my first tip. Here's another one. Read as many books as you can in one month. Why does the poster say this? Again, treat this as an experiment to show you books are fun so you'll learn to read well, so you can raise lots of money to show you there are many books to read. Again, the only one that it actually mentions is it says read as many books as you can in a month but if you look in the sentences before and after find sponsors ask family and friends to give you money for every book you read and you ask read the sentence after collect the money from your sponsors then it's obvious that the reason that you are reading books is so that you are get collecting that money from your family and friends so it's not about fun it's not about your reading skills it's about raising money so the skill that you're looking for here is that you are in fact go, you're looking at the sentences before and after to see how the meaning is built up through a sequence of sentences. So if you just look at that one sentence alone, sorry I've skipped too far, that sentence number three, you're not going to get the answer. You need to actually look in the context that it is and as you can see the context around it is about raising money. So the skill is read the sentences before and after your key sentence. You, you look a bit bro broader sometimes to find your meaning. This one, at www.bookaid.org, people register too. Again, this is detective work, is it? To help raise money, to buy books, to learn how to read or to make friends with some children in Africa. So you've got your big heading here, register now at the address. Why should you help? First sentence doesn't tell you. It just tells you people in that part of the world, lots of them can't read. Next one, families do not have money to pay for books. Well, that's a clue. But the next sentence, which I've highlighted, is that Book Aid International helps provide books and libraries. So there you go. It is. Um, so people register to help raise money. So it's not about you buying a book. It's not about you learning how to read. It's not about making friends. It's about raising money that can be spent on that. Okay. This is from the next um, task, and this is where you're reading the excerpt of the story about Patrick. And again, you need to look at the four possibilities and say, is there evidence for each one of these things? So this particular story is about Patrick being excited to get up and watch TV, and what you're being asked to work out is, why is he excited? 
So, again, you could start with the first one, say, is it in fact true in this story that he's allowed to watch TV all morning? And in fact, it's not. His mum says later in the story, um, we're going out to the shops. Or she says, we can't go till 8.30 at the earliest, you know, nothing will be open till then. So she doesn't say outright, we're going to the shops, but we can get from the kind of, what, she, what opens about 8.30 at the earliest? What do we mean by being open? She's probably talking about shops. So it's not a TV day. Um, it's not necessarily a present because he turns on the TV looking for it, like he's excited and he checks channels by channel. And so he's not getting a present via the TV. Uh, again, he will discover an answer he's been waiting for. Now, I actually think this is the most likely one because he's flipping through the channels and he wants to go back and watch it later and I suspect that he wants to know what this Finders Keepers is all about. And the last one I also think is a trick. He'll be able to spend the whole day with his mother because if you read at the bottom of the page, he actually doesn't want to go out with his mother. He tries to brush her off and say, we'll get my speakers, my sneakers next time. So the trick here is, again, treat it like an exercise, an investigation test each one is there evidence for this is there evidence for that it's not asking you for how you would react if you're in the story it's not asking you for even what you think makes sense it's asking you for what's in the text that's presented to you so read the text repeatedly and just treat it as a puzzle treat every single one of these stop and look at it test each one as if it's a science experiment is can i find proof for this one being true and this will help you with this activity